Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just want to connect some dots here right now. Because well, in terms of bringing the government to Christian feelings, you might be aware of Father well, Martinique a few years ago, where, as the good Reverend Doctor said, he said we can pull the students to the schools and make the Ministry of Education talk to us over your real reform. But in Martinique, the people just didn't go to work on the truth now, is it? French government said, we don't care about them. But by Thursday, they had the overseas department head in Martinique to discuss what the people wanted. I'm just trying to connect some dots so I can float a little bit. So really and truly, what maybe we need to do, rather than march to any place, and as you say, we turn back by water and force, it's just to stay home or to turn back the beach where your children might choose their men to any given week. That means the government has to survive that. That's one. Um, in terms of the pork and food, if we grow our own food, teach our children what we know, then the pork will have to bow to every dead thing in the Vatican. But we will not have to bow to the Pope. Because you're old enough to know that Barbados was more sufficient up to about 1970. Then we took started session off the lands for development. And that is where right now we just redefine zones. So we can feed ourselves, we can teach our children, we can stand up as men. Yes. Yes. I'm coming back to you again, Reverend Doctor. Brazil, beautiful place. The first, I believe, um, attempt at global globalization by the push, pushes fail because Brazil stood up. When they said, we will tell you what Brazil said, why we need to listen to you. We are a net manufacturer. Now, Mr. Paul was here, I saw him earlier, and I believe he can tell you that the Brazilians offered to send chicken legs to Barbados at 18 US cents a pound. That was how long ago? 20 odd years, and they refused it 20 odd years ago because they said it would destroy the industry in Barbados. Now we're in a trap where the, the producer makes more than anybody who raises a pig, a chicken, or whatever for, for, for um, consumption. So isn't it better to send feed or even to import the feed and uh, import the very cheap product and have the people, the 20 odd people that work in, I mean, God forbid, I have to say this. The 20 odd people that work at the, 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 the manufacturing become real farmers and actually earn. Because we keep being trained to look for work. We go all the time at Barbados and Bush and we send sheep to Ghana. Black County sheep are in Ghana since the thirties. Anybody can go to Ghana and walk across the country and see Black County sheep roaming freely. Why do we send Black County sheep to, to Ghana when the Bush and Barbados need to be eaten? Yes. Amen. We have a church in here, it's last ministry of agriculture with the boats. We cannot import boats. We're basically repeating the same old stock for the last 50 odd years. They dump the midgets. So we can't import boats to get decent gold milk. You see, you want to start connecting the dots. And when you do that, you have to ask yourself, why? What is happening? Why are we allowing? But they can't be retarded because they can't be retarded, we are seeing them retards. So what does that make us? Idiots. <laughs> so I am just saying, we just have to connect some of these dots. We have to get responsibility for ourselves because at the end of the day, a politician has the most temporary job in the world. Five years out. A politician cannot be a ruler. A politician is an administrator. A politician cannot tell you what you have to do because you have the right of refusal. You are your boss. So when you put that into perspective, you make your decision. If you love a person more than you love yourself, I start charging because I'm going to recommend my doctor. And one other thing I'm going to have to say that will, a lot of people might not get this right now. But we are the Jews. The Jews came out of Ethiopia. The people that came out of Europe are the Semites. 
And that's why you can commit an act of anti Semitism against them, but not anti Jewism. Because we are the Jews. We are the 400 years in the wilderness. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so, our last comments, okay, before we uh, we close tonight. Anybody want to comment on that? Thank you, yeah. sir. He, he mentioned a point about Barbados being self sufficient in agriculture. During COVID, agriculture was the only sector to grow, and then the government just refused to pay any attention to it uh, after. But in 1994, under the Bank of Alpha government, he passed a piece of legislation again from the IDB, which said, or which was called the Investment Sector Loan. And this Investment Sector Loan opened the window for billions of dollars in foreign direct investment to come in to Barbados. But there was a clause in that specific bill which gave the or uh, changed uh, agricultural lands into residential lands. And that is why you have the emergence of these golf courses and these multi million dollar houses. And that's when you change the whole system. The government changed the same zone, but it destroyed the old zonal system and created a new zonal system in Barbados. And they have a planning and development agenda along with the agenda to sell the entire region as we discussed on the show. They're selling from government headquarters straight down to Kensington Oval. Everything. They're selling, they're selling the entire resource. It's the same. So, so we're saying, again, these international institutions having their way as the rest of our use. And they have put policies in place to destroy the agricultural capacity of Barbados to the World Trade Organization, where Barbados can no longer compete internationally because our production costs can be too high to compete with international people. So therefore, we strategically say that Barbados cannot compete in the world as it relates to exports and agriculture. But that's a myth. That is a myth. But because we sign on to the WTO rules, right, even destroying our own shipping industry, we are privatizing the shipping industry, right, because we lost all our preferential agreements as it relates to the export of sugar to Europe. Barbados has set gift sugar to other countries and then we turn around by back. We can get a pack of sugar in the States or Canada for a dollar, two dollars, but I see a pack of sugar in Barbados for ten dollars. And then global sugar. So you see, so you see what's happening. The international world has a great on our agriculture. And through the selling out from our politicians, they are selling our lands for development, hotels, condos, because they have shares in them. Right? So that's what we're facing. Thank you. And just for the close of the, a simple reference to our nationality. The Lord has been the people's guide. Do you hear that? The Lord has been the people's God for the past 300 years. With him still on the people's side, we have no doubts or fears. The worst enemy to fight is one you can't see. <laughs>